Hey guys, welcome back to SA Homesteads. Today's plant we're going to be talking about is duckweed. Many people have different thoughts on duckweed, and my thought is that it's a good plant. Many people find it as a invasive weed that is a pain in the butt and hard to get rid of, especially to those who have ponds or um, aquariums, because once it gets in your let's say your dam, it will make your dam look like a swamp within a matter of months. Um, the reason I'm growing duckweed is because I um, have my aquaponic system and I want to use it to feed, supplement my feed for my, with, for my fish. Um, because duckweed is very high in protein and um, will just cut my um, feed costs down as uh, fish food is quite expensive. Um, also, duckweed grows phenomenally fast, which I've heard, um, and that it can be used for many, many things, that humans can actually eat it, and that you can feed it to your chickens, your, um, you can feed it to chickens, ducks, um, horses, dried, uh, you can dry duckweed and feed it to your horses and that it's just an amazing um, plant. Um, so I thought to myself, well why don't I get some and try and grow it? Um, so today I went and I got a little bag from our fish food, a uh, fish, uh, uh, fish store and um, got a little packet which cost me about 35 rand and I'm going to just place it in a bucket where my aquaponic system and underneath one of my aquaponic systems where the water tends to leak a drop or two every few minutes. Um, that will just um, agitate the water ever so slightly and um, just allow for aeration and water movement. Um, this is going to be my first time at growing duckweed and I'm just going to see how it does. Because we live in a coldish climate, we live in a temperate climate and the place we got it from they live in um, 30 kilometers away which is in a tropical climate. So I just put my duckweed in, my, in um, the container I'm going to be growing it in. Um, to acclimatize to the temperature slowly just so that I don't just dump it into my pond and it goes into shock. And I've put a little bit of um, pond water in there and um, yeah so we're going to see how it does and yeah, so let me go let's go down to it and I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So over here is where I'm going to be placing the duckweed in. I have set up another aquaponic system and um, this one is more um, easier to build and it's just a much better system. So I transferred all of my plants from this system over to this system. Um, and I'm going to place it in this container because the water tends to drip when there's a plant in here it actually splashes out of here. And, um, yeah, so it will just cause some surface agitation. So, I'm going to open up the bag with you guys and see how much we got. So, So I placed the duckweed in and now it's just a matter of time as to as for it to grow. So I got a fair amount, um, not as much as I was hoping for, um, but 
from the literature I've read, it says it should be it should multiply in the optimum conditions every 16 to 48 hours, which is very fast. Um, some facts about duckweed: duckweed has the smallest is the smallest flowering plant in the world. Um, it produces asexually, um, and um, research is being done on it um, to actually use it as biofuels and to um, feed uh, humans. Um, and duckweed farms are actually being started up, and um, the benefits of duckweed are starting to be shown. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.